What's going on YouTube? Joey, Birdcat8 here. Got some cards today. What should we do? We should do some cards. Uh, what do you guys want to talk about today? What do we want to talk about? I see. I never come scripted. I just usually just it just comes out the way it comes out. I was talking to Garrett today, and we we're talking about the Nats. Um, I'll kind of figure this, switch it in here. Won this and a Facebook uh, PSA guys on uh, YouTube that do the vintage box breaks. I've been watching the PSA show on Facebook. They do like Mondays and or Wednesdays normally, sometimes on Mondays. Um, won a Dale Murphy 1977. Rookie Auto. And I think they'll merge in the Hall of Fame. So, um, Nationals coming up, guys. So, get ready. Uh, it's it's awesome. It's the best time of year for me. I take vacation for it every year. Uh, Chicago is really fairly close to me from any of the Nationals. So, it's even easier on me this year. I think if it goes to Cleveland again, and I know next year's in Atlantic City, if it goes to Cleveland again, I think I'm going to fly. <laughs> It's just too long. It's just too long. Um, I feel like I'm spending my whole vacation like in a vehicle, and it's no, I don't want to do that. Um, next card coming in, uh, my little mini Bucks PC. Uh, this guy is his first autograph in a Bucks uniform, I think. But Brooke Lopez from Impeccable, 18 out of 49. A couple of these cards I got in uh, already ahead of our magged up in my in my perfect fit team bags, so. Nice. Got it for like 10 bucks. Yeah. Yes. All day, every day. Twice on Sunday. Where am I going? Oh, so the Nationals coming up. And get your hotel room. A lot of them are already booked. Uh, so do it. Uh, we're staying in the Double Tree again. If you know where the Double Tree is, right across the road it is like Party Central. As much as as someone that doesn't drink calls it party central. I don't maybe ever we'll have a fireball or something. Who knows? Um, my little card brother little little brother in cards. <laughs> I call my my he's like a brother in cards. We, it's just like when we get there is is, is rooming with it again. Um, we're going to have Scott with us in our room this year. And we're right across the road from the National Convention. So, awesome. We're going to figure out... It's awesome. I just, I just can't wait. It is not quite April yet, and I'm already thinking about the end of July. Um, I plan on spending one less day there. I used to go during the last two years I spent uh, going to the dealer setup day on Tuesday... Which I found some awesome stuff each time. But I'm going to risk it. Because it's just... It, the week is too long. Uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday is enough. I don't need another day. <laughs> I don't. There was, I was dragging last time. I was dragging in Cleveland. But... Yeah. It's fun still. Um, did, got these next two cards. Um, a guy... I posted some of my star stuff... Uh, Every time I get something, I post it in Grand Slam. Collectibles group. And guy uh, that I made friends with before says, I got these couple. He says, I'll sell them to you. Um, and I made an offer of 15 bucks on this card on eBay and got turned down immediately. And this is a Three River Stadium um, turf. Which Three River Stadium uh, is... This is a Bart Star card. But it's Three River Stadium turf. Authentic game use turf. Which is a Steelers turf. Um, this is what year is this? Uh, 2001 Don West Classics. So why I have... Uh, he must have played on there at one point. Um, I don't have a mag big enough. I think I need like a 180 mag because it's so... It's, look at look at that bulge. That was gross. But, yeah. So I picked that up. That card and this next card. So, already... We're doing well. Um, 83 out of 250... Uh, throwback Threads, Bart Star. Well, you know it's Bart Star. Um, doing the Tomahawk Chop. That's my favorite picture of his. <laughs> He's on the Passing the Torch. You see, here, I have a, a Passing the Torch base card. And there it is. <laughs> That's a Tomahawk Chop. 
Oh, John. John Smith makes me laugh. Every time I see this picture, it makes me laugh and think of him. Um, and this is game use. Here's the game use jersey that's cut from. And here's a certificate for certificate of authenticity. Um, and it does say authentic game use jersey on the front too. So I'm gonna put those. I gotta find a place to do with that one with the three rivers turf on it, but. Uh, Put the other one in a mag here soon, along with this one. eBay purchase popped up. Must have been on eBay for less than 30 minutes, I would say, on this one. Um, I've been looking for one of these at my price for six years. <sighs> Going on seven years. Of 2012 National Treasures. Uh, number 36 out of 49 die cut star jerseys and imagine the patch version of this this is a great photo it's like it's like an artsy photo it's not like the actual photo photo it's, it's like they highlighted uh, it made it look very nice so this was on ebay for a very short period of time because the price I paid for it was immensely awesome I think it was 25 bucks um, and here's the back see uh 30, 36 36 out of 49 these never show up and when they do it's 50 bucks maybe more so winning winning uh the next car was kind of the same story this came a couple days ago that's why it's already in its perfect fit team bag and magnetic um from 2012 momentum which is a shit product but they made a couple decent cards you know want any of the rookie crap out of there you want stuff like this 19 out of 25 game worn of course both of them are both of them forrest greg and bart star and it's not white it's gold green and gold on both of them and both of them are game worn so 19 out of 25 here's the back now did you guys notice anything i did home star jersey picture away star jersey picture isn't that awesome the forest greg is the same picture but the star is a different photo momentum did something right that's awesome now both both of them, they were both of them would have been different pictures that would have been even better but nice chunks of patch two color you know there it is 19 out of 25. Boom, right in your lunchbox. That one was on eBay for about 30 seconds, so I snagged it for 25. I mean, you could have probably sold for 50 plus on that and someone would buy it now. It wouldn't have, it would have been me at 50 even. Mm-hmm. You can't find star patch stuff, let alone dual patches with a different player for less than 50. Not now. And it was gorgeous. So, that was a steal. Doing well so far. What to do next? What's next? We have, and that's not the last, I have two more cards left. That's not the last one. Eyes get big as saucers when they say something like that. Insane. Insane in the membrane. So what to do next? This one. Very, very rare stuff. And I love the rare stuff. It doesn't have to be out of a great... If it's out of a great product, even better. But this one's not out of a great product. And I do have a version of this card. But not this same exact card. This is from 2010. Panini Threads. Great Iron Kings autograph. I have the jersey version of this card. I have a piece of jersey here, piece of jersey there. There's no jersey on this card. Um, this one's the autograph stays all on, but I think the five on the fifteen goes off sticker right over here a little, little bit. Very, very tough to notice, but it's there. Um, so I have the jersey version. It's out of fifteen. There's a piece of jersey here, a piece of jersey here, and the ver jersey version. 
Now this one, there's no jerseys and it's out of five. So super rare stuff. And these decks, these two cards, this one I'm holding in hand and the next card was in, I bought together in a lot. So I didn't overpay for either of them. No, I, when I did the deal, I think I was at the one, I think I got 125 for this, maybe 150 ish in that range. So that's good price. Good price. The next one was I was in like the 275 range. And I think it's it's hard to say because I haven't seen these really sell, but I think they they sell between 275 to 300. I could be wrong because there just hasn't been a lot of sales on cuz it's super short print. There's no numbering to it. Um but there's one on eBay with a crappy autograph on it and the guy wants 6 or 100 or best offer. Um, so I got this around 285 I think I paid ish um, from 2012 tops chrome uh, rookie reprint autographs or tops or tops chrome uh, it looks very chrome um, it looks like tops it might be tops chrome anyway don't know much because it's I haven't ever, you don't encounter these a whole lot. I mean, I just haven't done my research on them. But I know about this card because I've seen it a couple times. A couple times. Um, like it says, here we go. But it's a sticker autograph. It looks like his rookie in a, in a chrome finish, which is <laughs> awesome. If this was, we were talking about, if this was on card, OMG. Sorry about the lighting, it's just that it's a bright day. Uh, but look at this thing shine and that stuff gets me if this was on card woo So I looked at it at the condition of it front surface oh, Loved it. It's off centering's off uh, Top to bottom not left to right, but it's centering's off in the back left to right not top to bottom as much um, and I was gonna try if I got a nine centering, this card would have made grade. Made, and there's no one graded nine five ten. But I went over, and I found a little imperfection. I don't know if it's going to show up, but it's in this corner. I don't know. I'm going to try and see if you can see it. But it's like a little indentation, like when someone might have put it in a mag or just in in the uh, print in the card making process. So I'm not going to make nine five ten. So Meg City it is in. Meg City is not a bad city to be in. It's a pretty stellar. The surface on the front is just for being chrome finished front, it is spotless on the front. I I nearly I was so excited to look at the front because I I was expecting it to be scratchy. Or some kind of scratch into it. There's nothing. The front so if the card part I'm looking at, the front part looks awesome. The back part I had to take that, and I found that little pinch on that back corner. I'm okay with being in a mag. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. And I, like I said, I don't know what this card would normally go for, but I, I was in the two two eighty five range. I think I paid on it. So, well, I not seeing enough sales. I don't even know if that's fair or not. I think it. I think right now, it sounds pretty fair for that card. Um. If I'm wrong, you just let me know if it's more than that. But what do I know? Uh, spring has sprung here. We got robins out. so And robins in this area means spring. I've seen them for the last three days. Uh, so that's it. I think my phone will go over 15 minutes, but I don't even have anything more. Uh, what else? We... Make sure you get your stuff ready for nationals. I'm so excited. Make your plans. Get them all ready. I want to see you guys. I want to see you guys so bad. Um, you're some great individuals out there, and you know who you are. That make the national to make that make the national what it is. So, and love to see some new faces. Would love to meet some new people. Um, some of my favorite times is at the national are meeting some of the new faces and realizing how much you have in common with these people in such a short amount of time 
It goes by so fast. I'm telling you, when you get there, it seems like you get there and you're gone. And it's like the saddest day of the year for me when I actually have to leave. It's 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 terrible. <laughs> it's terrible because all these like-minded individuals are together in the same place, and they get you. For me, it's uh, it, it's it's such a special place to be in every year. Um. Yes, there's negative things that go on in the hobby, uh, all the time, all the time. But after all those negatives, there's so many positives that just outdo those negatives that uh, that it's worth it. It is worth going through some of those and wading through some of those negatives to get to those positives. Um. And the negatives could be among many things. It could be, it could be scammers and certain certain individuals. It could be, it could be the card companies itself. Um, it could be a bad experience doing something. Whatever it is, whatever is connected to the hobby. Have I had bad experiences? Of course, I've had bad experiences. I had a, many of them in the hobby. But like I says, those negative experiences. Are, are just all pummeled by the the how many good things that have happened, and how many people I've got to meet that I, that I am so happy to call a friend. That that's the, it's worth it. It's worth it. There's uh. There's, usually in my life. If there's a chance that I, there's something that's going to be negative or attached to something, I don't do it. Uh. I'm I'm not a risk taker. I don't like I don't like uh, having to feel bad about anything. Uh, and when it comes to this card community, that's different. It's different in my mind because I I can take all that negative because there's so many positive things that I got out of it. Uh, seeing the YouTubers face, uh, you guys are in my living room more more than my family and, and regular f friends around the area. I, I I'm you're you are making something something that's so personal to you and you put it on YouTube and it's where I could watch it. That that's awesome. To me to me that's you can't get any better than that. Um and then when I see you in person it's like we live next door. At least that's the way I feel. It looks like we live next door all our lives and we're like and I like I'm just popping my head in and and saying, Hey, how's it going? Like I like I just walked across the yard and said you know, that's that's how it is when I get to the national. It's because I've seen your face so many times. Even if I haven't, then I wanted to get to know who you are. And it turns out to be just just what I what I think it should be all the time. So much positivity coming out of the National. Everyone is such having such a good time. And if you're having a bad time at National... Jeez, uh, Michael Fabian a couple years back had his back was hurting. And I felt so bad for him. Um, but even through all of that, when he's hurting as much as he was, he was still having a good time. There's nothing that can make you not have a good time there. Um, I want him to have a better time, actually. Um, but he was still having a good time. That's, that's nuts to me. That's so good. And usually that would take someone's good time right out of the, right out of it. Not him. That... That in itself makes me smile. So, I don't know why I went to that. But thanks everybody for watching and watch me ramble on. I should be able to go over 15 minutes on this video. If not, well, I'll see you in a little bit. And I'll do it again. Um, take care. Love you guys. Don't know when I'll be back. But at some point, something always happens. I always say I never know when I'm coming back. And I could be back tomorrow. <laughs> so... That's the way my card collecting goes. You just never know. And that's the most exciting part for me. Just the unknown. Where you're going to find that one special gem. And it just shows up one day out of the blue. And you got it. And you go and get it. Or do whatever you have to do to go get it. That's that's the excitement. That runs me. That, that, that fuels my engine. So. Thanks everybody for watching. Love you guys. Take care.